Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Adriano, this is 44 Degrees Motorbike Adventures. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, in this channel, I upload content of trips around Ireland, uh, reviews of gear that I buy with my own money and I use. Uh, also, I do a little bit of motorbike maintenance on my Transalp 700. So, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up to date. With the latest videos that I put up there. Today in this video I'm here to show you a little tool that I got uh, last Christmas as a Christmas present from my wife which I find fantastic and uh, it's been saved me a lot of time and effort. Uh, we all know that we have to wash our bike from time to time and uh, sometimes it, the harder part is to dry your bike and uh, for that purpose I used to use rags like these old t-shirts to dry the bike but you know yourself with those rags it's uh, you have to wash them you have to keep them dry and uh, you also don't get on this tiny parts in the bike where water gets logged and uh, you will not be able to dry the bike fully so last Christmas my wife gave me a present and this was the present that she gave to me so this is it, this is the Burhill, I think that's how it pronounced. Uh, it's a motorcycle dryer, it actually it's a 16 watts of high power uh, air, warm air, which allows you to dry your bike fully. And this little gadget saved me a lot of time and effort. So let's check that out and I'll show you exactly what's in the box. Okay, so this is, let's see what's in the box now. Um, right, so the box comes with uh, the tool itself, which has a long lead, it's a two meter lead, so you can plug it into your mains. It comes with uh, three, one is already installed here, three adapters for airflow, one is small round the other one is a medium flat and then you have the large one flat which is installed here already a hose which is normal size is about uh, um, a meter long but it's a coil hose and it, once you turn it on it expands to about three three meters I'd say and uh, comes with a manual as well this is the model it's the um, model MD 1400 um, single turbine motorcycle dryer so yeah let's put this to use and see what can do for us okay so we got the tool here and we got the holes and we got the lead here so basically what I'm gonna do is connect the um, the holes into into here and there's a lock mechanism to, that locks this in place so um, Forgive me, but I'm using my other hand to hold the camera, so it's a bit tricky. But we should be able to do this. There's a some, there you go, and then you twist to lock, lock in place. So there you go, it's locked in place, okay. And uh, we just need to plug in the lid. As I say, the lid is long enough. This lid on coil long enough to reach the the mains, but I have a connection here, so 
I'm going to move the box, the box away from what. But as I say, once you turn this on, the hose becomes bigger. Um, so let's do. So the way I do is basically, I start from the top of the of the bike and pushing all the air down to the bottom, and then clean the bottom. So before I I turn this on, I'm just gonna talk to you about the advantage to using these two rather than use the rags. As I say, for one, it's that you need to dry this after a while, and also to um, wash them. Second of all, it doesn't reach the parts that you want to dry, like inside of like the under, underneath the engine, underneath like the bike. The third thing is that uh, it doesn't fully dry the bike because of that. And then you have water logged inside the bike, and um, which leads to corrosion. Um, I live here in to an area which is nearby the sea, so there's a lot of salt in the air, especially in the uh, winter where the, there's a lot of storm and the wind blowing from the sea so most of the time when i ride my bike and i come back i make sure that i just give a quick rinse in the bike i don't wash the bike that often with soap and, and water but i'd make sure that the bike at least it has a, a wash to take off the salt and everything else now um yeah so the main thing part of this too is the main benefit of this too is the fact that you can dry a bike completely now I'm going to show you how to do it and there's only one two things that I particularly take up pay attention when I'm using this tool because it's a compressed air coming out and there's a warm air coming out of the tool I don't like to use the tool very close to any seals like the the fork seals or any any of the brake seals so I try to keep the tool maybe a foot away from that I can I can still use to dry the the forks but I move away the tool a bit so uh, this tool is specialized for motorbikes so I don't think the power is enough to push any water inside but just to make sure I, I, I move it away so let's do it let's show you how to use this tool okay so it's gonna be a little bit noise I'm gonna turn this on as you can see you can see the hole has expanded. I don't know if you can hear me, but if you hear, you can see it, the hole has expanded. Now what do I do is this. I use the tool to push the water from the top of the bike down. All right. There. Also, you can reach like a place. It's like a you don't reach with the rope, with the rags. Sorry, underneath. Like that. And when it comes to the brake system or the any any holes, I move away about the foot away, and still the, you can push it away. But like a, it's more like a windy when you're driving the bike, so it's not gonna push any water inside the boot. So. Great to ride a bag as well. When I come closer to, the, let's say, the forks, I move very away, away from it, and I, I only have a foot away from it, and move, just let the air, very gentle, root, push the water out of the forks. I start it from the top, the forks make sense, the water is coming down, and then 
you can complete your, your thing. So, so this is it. This is how I do. This is how I drive my bike. Best I used to use rags like this, old t-shirts, and today I don't do it anymore. Uh, great thing, saves me a lot of time. It dries the bike completely. It dries parts of the bike where I cannot reach with the cloth and uh, prevent the bike from having water sitting down there and causing corrosion. So this is it. I'm the, I think is the bro. I'm not sure how to pronounce that to be honest with you, but B R U H L. And I put a link in the description of the video there so you guys can check it out. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time.